Hey, what's up guys? Joker here. Today we're going to be taking a look at the V2 keyboard from WASD or WASD keyboards, however you want to call them. Uh, I've been looking for the perfect mechanical keyboard for some time now uh, because there was a time where I didn't really think I needed a mechanical keyboard. I was like, oh, I don't need that. Uh, you know, I'm fine with my rubber dome keyboard. And then I tried a mechanical keyboard earlier this year. And ever since then, I've been in love with them and trying to find the perfect mechanical keyboard that suit my, suited my style. Uh, and with the perfect switch type so I've tried a lot of them blues reds browns now uh, and I think I've really finally found uh, what I would consider the perfect keyboard at least for me and the great thing about um, you know using uh, the WSD keyboards website is that you can fully customize it to your needs so that's really where you know I started with this whole thing uh, but you know when they said that they were going to send me out a keyboard uh, to try and review for you guys on the channel it all starts with the customization which is one of the best things about getting a keyboard from WASD because you can customize everything you want on there you can pick the switch type whether you want browns blues blacks greens you name it any type of key switch you want whether you want 10 keyless or a full size keyboard a European style or American ANSI style keyboard you can do that you can choose if you want dampeners if you want a white text color black text color um, you can choose the colors of the keys if you want you can change all of the keys or if you want to just highlight like WASD with like red or green or purple whatever you want to do you can fully customize it even the uh, print layout on the actual keys themselves I went with something fairly basic which looking at it, you're like oh that's such a basic keyboard but it's really what suited me it's what I wanted I was looking uh, for ages for just a simple black and white keyboard with a classic print style like this. I did choose to get the centered print on the function keys. I thought that looked kind of cool. And I got the classic print style on the regular keys going over the whole keyboard. But you can completely customize this the way that you want. If you want to get a Dvorak printed layout, you can get that or a Colmac. If you're not familiar with what those are, Dvorak and Colmac are basically designed uh, to put less strain on your fingers as you're typing by keeping most of your uh, button presses near the home row or like normally would be ASDF JKL semi. Um, so if you, it basically reorganizes the keys in a way that's meant to be faster and less strenuous on you when you're typing. It's a little bit different and it's kind of something hard to get a grasp on. Uh, and it's not something I, I, I've tried it, but it's not something I'm personally a fan of. But if that's something you want to do, then you can totally customize the layout of the keyboard on the website to do that if you want. Or when you get the keyboard, if you want, you can also switch it yourself because it does have a set of six dip switches on the back along with a guide that comes with the keyboard. And you can set these dip switches to do different layouts if you want different things. Like if you want the Windows key turned off or if you want a Colmac or Dvorak layout, you can set those with the dip switches. Just make sure you unplug the keyboard and plug it back in when you're done uh, so that the different settings can take effect on the dip switches. So as far as the build quality is concerned on the WASD keyboards, I mean, they, they've really spared no expense. It's just top quality materials all the way around. Zero flex on this keyboard if I pick it up and try to bend it around. Looking at the back of the keyboard, we have six large rubber feet to keep it from slipping around and moving on your desk, as well as rubber on the actual little risers that kick out on the back of the keyboard so that when you are using those, that'll help keep it in place as well. I can't tell you how many keyboards I've seen that'll have rubber on the back of the keyboard, but when you go to use the risers that I think most people probably end up using, or at least I know I use them, um, they don't have rubber on the risers themselves, so then it winds up sliding all over the desk. So it's nice to see that they did include the rubber on the actual rising feet themselves on the WASD keyboards. It's just a little thing that, you know, sometimes companies overlook, but I appreciate that they didn't overlook that here. Also on the back of the keyboard, we do have some cable routing channels. So if you want to use the included cable to route it around here to keep your cables just a little bit neater, then you can do that. So kind of going with the whole minimalist design theme, I got, you know, the whole black and white thing going on. Uh, but also there's no lighting on this particular keyboard. They do make a code keyboard that has white backlighting, but there's no RGB uh, color lighting here. So if that's something you're looking for, you're not going to find it on one of these V2 keyboards. And for like caps lock and scroll lock, they just have, you know, basic red LEDs, very kind of understated, uh, not really big pronounced lights on there. So I like to see that because it's really all about minimalist for me. I don't want extra fluff on my keyboard that I don't need, which is one of the reasons I chose to go with a 10 keyless design. I don't need the, I don't really need the numpad. I mean, sometimes I would use it, but I'm not an accountant, so I really don't need 
that extra 10 keys there, uh, you know, using the numpad. If it's something you want to get though, they totally have that option. If you want to get a full size keyboard, they have it available on their website. But I chose to go with the 10 keyless design because it's a little bit faster for me, especially if I need to go from my mouse to the keyboard in a gaming situation. It's just a little extra distance that I don't have to make my right hand travel when I'm making that transition. Also along in the box with the WASD keyboard is one of their branded keycap pullers and it's one of the wire ones which I really like. Uh, I've had a couple in the past or kind of like the plastic ones and some keycaps will be a little bit too large for them and they can be kind of hard to pull out but with something like this you can kind of adapt it to the size of the key that you're trying to pull out and it really works quite well. Also along in there is a USB to PS2 adapter which previously I had not been using uh, even though I know some of the benefits of using PS2 over USB basically, you know, giving you full end key rollover and giving you a little bit faster signal uh, going to the CPU than over what would you use with USB uh, because of the more, the simpler drivers um, that come along with PS2. So I've been using that USB to PS2 adapter and I've done some testing going back and forth between USB and PS2 and it is just no doubt faster than using a USB. So I mean, if, even if you're not using one of these keyboards, that's, it, it's, it's like a video for a whole another day, but really use a USB to PS2 adapter. It, is so much faster uh, than just using it over directly on USB, not to mention that it gives you that full end key rollover. So I can literally press every key on the keyboard at the same time and they just all they just all show up at the same time. It's not going to do like two or three buttons and then just die out. It's going to show every single key that my hands are capable of pressing at once. On a lot of other keyboards, they will, gaming keyboards, they will claim that it has this full end key rollover over USB, but it's usually just uh, sectioned off to like the WASD area around there. Um, so with this, that's not the case though. If you're using the PS2, you're going to get that full end key rollover for the entire keyboard. Now let's go ahead and cut over to a quick typing test so you guys can get an idea of how the Cherry MX Brown switches sound on this keyboard. So you may have noticed that I do have some custom keycaps on here, the Joker Production keycaps, which just kind of add that extra little sense of personalization that really makes this a unique one-of-a-kind keyboard and it's my keyboard there's no other keyboard in the world like it and that's what you can get with going to WASD you completely customize it the way that you want it and it's going to be your own keyboard no one else will have a keyboard like the way that you have designed yours and if you want to get custom keycaps they do that right on their website you can upload your own logo so if you're running a YouTube channel or a Twitch channel and you want to get your own logo put on your keyboard to just have that extra customization then you can definitely do that. My only minor gripe that I did have with the WASD keyboard is the inclusion of using micro USB to connect to the back of the keyboard. So it is detachable, you can unplug the cable, and they've chose to use micro USB. Now I've not had the best luck with micro USB in the past. Sometimes the uh, connectors can be kind of flimsy if it gets moved around, if you're unplugging it a lot, and I've had cables break and you just, and then if you the slightest movement um, will disconnect it from your PC. I've had that happen to me numerous times in the past. It hasn't happened yet with this keyboard, um, so I'm being very careful with it, not trying to unplug it you know, as much as I can because I want this thing to last me a long time. But that's really all I got for you on the WASD keyboard. Like I said, absolutely in love with this thing because it's personalized to the way that I want it. And if you want to get one, I'm going to put a link down in the description below where you can pick out one of these keyboards, customize it the way you want it. 10 keyless, full keyboard, whatever color scheme you want to do, you can customize it the way that you want uh, to your own particular liking. So be sure to check out that link down in the description below and start customizing. Even if you want to just go on the website and just mess around and see, you know, what kind of crazy customization you can come up with, go ahead and check it out. It's really fun. Uh, so I'm going to go ahead and get out of here. Um, you know, like I said, love this keyboard. Only minor gripe was that micro USB, but that's kind of a small thing in the grand scale of things uh, with what otherwise is a fantastic, well-built keyboard um, that I plan to use for many, many years to come. So I'm going to go ahead and get out of here. I will catch you guys next time. Ta-ra.